This is Aisha with Glow Puppies. Okay. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to do a short video um, because I have not introduced myself. I have not taken the time out to let you know what my page is about. My name is Aisha Burns and I am an animal lover. I love dogs. I've always grown up with pets and animals, ferrets, snakes, geckos, geckos, lizards, birds, fish, any type of pet you could probably imagine. My favorite pets are cats and dogs. I love fish too. I do love fish. Um, it is a lot to take care of a fish tank. I did have a small 25 gallon one and it didn't go well. So I need something bigger that's a little less maintenance. Um, but this page is just about Glow Pups Kennel. Um, I will be opening up a kennel uh, for my family legacy. Um, I always grew up with dogs. All my, most of my family members breed it. My uncle Mo breed it. My brother Kimo breed it. My mother had an um, ex boyfriend who had a huge kennel like outside of our house where we lived at. Um, I learned a lot. I picked up a lot. I saw a lot. <laughs> and now that I am turning my passion, my hobby into something that I want to um, just pursue on a full time basis, um, I'm starting to do that now. Um, I have three businesses that are that I'm trying to launch. Um, this first one, I know it's going to take some time, so just bear with me. Keep coming to the page, watch, like, subscribe, do what you got to do, and I thank you for all of your participation. I thank you all for watching because um, it, it's a lot, and if you click on my link, and that means you like what you see, so I really appreciate that. Um, any comments that you could leave to say how, what you want to see, more of what you don't want to see, um, more informational videos. I'm trying to get my little um, electronics on and do better videos um, so you don't see all that, you know. And I can do like little pauses and stuff. So I'm, I'm getting there. But this is the first startup, so we're going to start with basic as I learn. Um, so I have three puppies. I own three puppies. I have two Connie Corsos, Italian Mastiffs. Um, Tyson, Apollo, and Bella Duchess, and then I have a little <laughs> poodle. She is a mixed breed. She's poodle and I think Jack Russell and not Yorkie, poodle and um, Chihuahua. Okay, she's mostly poodle and Chihuahua though. Um, I will be breeding her. Um, I got her from my uncle. My uncle breeds small dogs, so it, I, if you need a small dog, I can do that as well. Um, Foxy, hush, hush. So every time she sees my son, she just goes crazy she loves him so she has this love hate relationship with him but anyway so um basically what i want this page to do is be used for love for the breeding purposes um i will have informational videos coming soon i'm just gathering the information putting it in my brain so that when I bring it to you, um, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know some things, but I don't know everything. So I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I do. I learn and then I, I teach. So that's what this page will mostly be. Um, that and videos of my dogs, just to let you know um, like their behaviors, characteristics, um, let you know how to l teach your kids. I'm learning that as well in these webinars I'm taking, how to teach kids how to deal with and train and just interact with animals, okay? Um, also, the videos of the puppies uh, of Tyson and Bella mostly because Foxy's a little diva and it's very hard to get her in videos like I do with them too. Um, if you want to see more of Foxy, just let me know. I'll, fo I'll try to focus more on her, but for now, it's just easier to do the big dogs. Um, Tyson and Bella, they are 10 months now. Um, their birthday is 12-29, so that's when they'll be a year old. Bella did have her first heat, so because she had it before she turned a year old, um, I have been educated to know that when they get it before they're a year old, you have to wait to their third heat in order for them to... to um, be bred okay now if she got it at a year and then she got the next one the following year then you could do it at the second heat but because she's had hers early little hot butt <laughs> she's we're gonna wait to her third heat so that and after we do her testing um with this breed of dog connie corsos um because they're big they tend to have um hip and joint problems um i feed my dogs um Kasumi with the chondroitin 
Um, the pills are best, but they also have chews. Um, it just basically depends on my budget. If I can afford the pills, I get the pills. But if not, I'll just settle for the chews. Um, and I basically, because they're so big, you have, I have to give them a lot. Because, of course, the chews aren't just all medication. So they're mixing with some flavoring and food and stuff. I have noticed a change in that. Um, the vet was trying to say, my dog Tyson, he's a boy. Um, when I think I said this in another video, they playing around right now, so please forgive the noise. But um, when he was about five, six months, he was hit by a car. Um, it was not on my watch, okay? And he was in a cast for two months. Um, it was right in the middle of me training them, so his temperament is a little stubborn because he had to go through that experience I did notice that but I, I work with him every day um, all day uh, I know some breeders say oh, I'll take five ten minutes but I take every experience that hey, 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 hey and this is what they do tear my house up so um, please get an adorable house if you plan on have one of these dogs you cannot own a cane course live in an apartment you need a chihuahua okay but um, so since then, back to the the, the leg break, um, he was in a cast. Cast came off. He has some muscle atrophy. He didn't move his leg for a, for about a good couple weeks. The first couple days, he didn't move it at all because it was dead. Um, I started to pray over it. I believe in Jesus Christ too, so and His anointing power of healing. So I got my holy oil. I started praying over his leg, asking God to heal him. Um, the doctors, every doctor wanted to see him. Oh, well, let's send him here. And I, I could just cut it out. I was like, oh, I think I'm just going to go with the one doctor I know. His name is Jesus Christ, and he's the ultimate healer. I do think that he, I do know that he is healing Tyson because Tyson's leg is getting stronger. He's limping less. They say he will always have a limp. I don't claim that. Um, I just know that God is going to heal him, like, perfectly, and he's going to show no sign of his break. Um... Um, so with that being said, initially, um, I don't have any really too many photos of them when they were younger because I was caring for him in his cast. So I really didn't get a chance to do a lot of videos. I did a lot of pictures. Um, I will post some on their, um, my glow pups, Instagram. I'm going to make one today, Instagram and a, what's the other social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, I don't know what else is out there, but I'll see and um, you know do some posts and stuff I don't know if anyone's been using snapchat anymore. So I probably won't do that, but um Just moving forward. I, like I said, I just pray over them give them the supplements I feed them grain-free food now. We just made that transition Because um, I started researching like what's the best food like for my own body because I started changing my own eating habits Not eating a lot of sweets junk food stuff like that and so I started to do the same thing for my dogs and um, found a lot of information about reading ingredients on dog food and what shouldn't be in the first five ingredients, what should be, what should be in the ingredients, what to stay away from. Definitely stay away from corn. Um, I do not do MSGs. Their food is all grain free now. Even their wet food when I mix it because my dogs love wet food too. So um, I just try to feed them stuff with flavor. Tyson, he, his brain works, so he, when he eats, when he gets full, he stops. Bella brain, her, does, her brain doesn't work. When she eats, she'll eat, 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 to the point where she throws up. So I do, when I feed them after they're done, like now, I think she's in there trying to get in her food. I'll put the food bowl up until it's time for her to eat again. Because if not, she'll just eat, 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 and in the middle of the night, here she go throwing up. Okay, so just don't overfeed your dog. Um, don't leave the food out because then they'll overfeed themselves. Um, also, um, with that being said, like I said, I'll I'll come and just give you guys a little history on the Connie Corso uh, breed and just to let you know like how to care for the training. I'm not a dog trainer. I train my dogs the way I know how. Um, and I'm just learning how to train stranger dogs, strange dogs, dogs that I don't know, so that I can help people out. But, um, as far as mine, they will be sent away to an intensive training for two weeks. Um, I want them to get leash free and I am having to run. That's not happening with me. I don't know nothing about leash free training. So I'm going to send them away in a couple months for two weeks so they can get trained. And then, um, make me some too, son. I want some. And then, um, yes, whatever I learned from that, of course, I will definitely share. 
But um, I would just want to thank you guys for just, you know, liking the videos. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe. And leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, like I said. Um, and I will give you what you want, okay? So I hope all is well with everyone. If you have any questions, um, again, my name is Aisha Burns. Send me a message. Oh, and my email is Aisha is, no, I'm sorry. The email for the business is TysonBellaPups at gmail.com, okay? It's also on my YouTube page. So if you have any questions, um, just hit send me a message okay on on my youtube i hope all is well with everybody who is watching god bless you and love peace and blessings